So I've always been keen to get hold of an original Game Boy Advance. I've got an SP, but I really do like the form factor of the original one. It's just a lovely little handheld. They always tend to go relatively pricey, or at least more than I'm willing to spend. But I've seen a few that were broken, and I started to look around for spare parts. So I looked on AliExpress, and I did notice that they had a lot of spare parts. In fact, enough to build a whole Game Boy Advance. So I thought, well, can you just build a Game Boy Advance using parts you get from AliExpress? Right, okay. So to do this, there are obviously a few major components we need. So first of all is the screen. Now, this is the first point at which you kind of have to be careful what you're buying. There are two types of screen, maybe more, but I think there's two types for the original GBA. So there's 32 pin or 40 pin. Uh, so make sure the motherboard and the screen match. So if I remember, then we'll put the price of the screen up on the <laughs> where, and I'll put the links to where I got it from in the just in the description. But yeah, with all these things, there's no guarantee that those sites will still be around or they'll be selling the same stuff. It's kind of the way it is with uh, a lot of these companies that sell this kind of stuff. But uh, yeah. And of course, we don't even know if this is working yet. <laughs> the, the, the one really major thing that isn't an original piece of a Game Boy Advance, this is a case that's been made by a uh, Another manufacturer. I'm not particularly worried about the case because let's be honest, they've been <laughs> making these cases for a while now, so that they've probably got the injection molding completely down pat now. Not only did it come in with the normal stuff, but it came with uh, like the back of the front of the case, obviously. But the it came with the bat's got the battery contacts in, which is good. And it came with the lens and the case screws and the plastic button set as well, which is uh, really handy. And last but not least, for major stuff, the the motherboard. Now this obviously uh, cannot be new. Uh, this has to be from an existing machine. And this also makes it one of the most dangerous things to buy. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we've no idea why this motherboard exists outside of a normal GBA. Why it's not been sold with the GBA. So, uh, yeah, this is probably the... The weakest part. This and the screen, because they're both things that would have have to have been taken from an existing GBA. So, yeah, this is the... <laughs> These are the things that will concern us. Right. And also, uh, necessary, but not one of the major things, although you can't play it without it, is the, uh, the rubber carbon pads, which let you uh, do actually push buttons and get it recognized which is you know important i got these from uh i don't know if the company was actually called retro six maybe it was this is obviously no spawn but yeah i got them we'll see if they're any good uh right so the first thing to do i guess is to start putting stuff together okay that's the only thing to do but you know what i mean right so there is our motherboard and I think this will all go into the front of the case. I'm dropping bits already. Put the lens up there to make keep it safe. Right, so there you go. So the shoulder buttons are already in the front of the case. So we'll put the back of the case on afterwards. Uh, we've got these bits which are kind of like edging and they're decidedly annoying. <laughs> I think. Um, I don't know how I'm going to keep the screen in yet. I guess we will use some... I'm just going to put it in for now and then it's got padding on the back so it might hold itself in. But I may put some uh, double-sided tape around it as well. Uh, right, anyway, let's get the, the buttons out. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Okay, so one of the problems we're going to have with these buttons is because they're moulded. They're going to have little splint points on them. So we are going to have to just, without taking my hand off or any of the bits we need, just uh, smooth those bits down with a knife. Just otherwise, if we don't, they're not going to move as well as they uh, as they should do. So yeah, we just want to make them as flat as possible. That bit in there is probably fine because it's not actually moving anything but the sides. 
we need bits. There we go. And especially important on the buttons because yeah, you know, look at there. Because they will get stuck inside the case if they are not flat. <coughs> this is the power switch. That was alright actually. And the LED doesn't move, so that's fine. That's the light thing, the light well for the power button. So okay, that's all good. Right. <coughs> Let's start putting stuff together. So Let's get a closer view, I think. <coughs> right, so these are fairly obvious, so these will go, that goes in any way. Uh, this, these work, they only fit, they've got like these little pegs which go over here and only fit in certain ones. We know B, well it needs to go upward, so we know B has to go the right way around, so that will probably fit in like that, it does. And the A is the same, it's going to be upright, so that will go in there, that, no problem. The power light rail goes up here underneath the shoulder button uh, and you yeah unless you miss like that my fat fingers can't quite reach it so I'm gonna use some uh, needle nose pliers yeah I'm also sitting quite a way back from the actual <laughs> thing so I can get the camera and uh, so I'm not quite this inept normally. Right, that will go in there. Oh, down you go, there we go. Uh, then the power switch, the, this little bit, the these two things go around the actual switch on the mobile board, so they have to be upwards. And that will just slide in there. And then we have to make sure that the switch is the same side as the mobile one, otherwise it won't go in properly. <laughs> Now, next we need to put on, well, I guess put the screen in next, actually. Let's get the screen in place. Um, I think the, the ribbon cable has to be at the top. So there we go, just drops in. That's fine, that took no time at all. Right. <laughs> now for the carbon button, rubber button mounts. So these are the thing that actually register inputs. Now these have all of these little cutouts and screw holes and stuff. So they only fit one way. So you just have to make sure you line those up. And that's that way. Okay, it's, yeah, okay, it wasn't, it was fighting a little bit to go over the middle bit, but that's fine. Uh, the start and select things, they can only really go in one way, because they've got that little hole there, so that's good. And these again, they've got holes, so they've got one big hole on that side and one small hole on that side. So if we look at the actual thing, we can see that there's a big hole there, so that will go there. It's a bit of a uh, the greatest fit ever. That's fine. <laughs> we'll find out the worst later on. Right. So again, we know which way these goes because the uh, it uh, has to go that way because we know that the cartridge is on the bottom, and we know that the shoulder buttons are at the top, so up there. So therefore, it must be like that, and we know it switches down there as well. So. That was alright. Oh, yeah, I got it around the complete. Shoulder buttons are at the top. Come on. <laughs> so the switches will just go into there like that. Well, go into there like that, like I've just said. There we are. And then, okay, so there we go. That's basically given now. So for the display, it's got this little brown bit on top of the, the holder. We need to pull that towards the cable, so up, upwards. And. There we go, so that's oh, focus. So that's slightly raised, so now we can slot this into in there and it should just go in 
There we go, like that. And now we can push this back down again. There we go, and you'll see that that's now, these are now flush with the top, and that's now fully in. So now we can put the back of the case on. So the important thing, the back of the case, is these battery contacts here, we have to be really careful because they need to obviously go through the back of the case there. So need to line this up. Uh, everything seems to be in. Power switch is in. Uh, so let's try and put some of these screws in the back of this then. <laughs> Okay, so basically, <laughs> the uh, the small screws go on the outside side edge, and those are Phillips head screwdrivers, uh, screws, and then the two center ones are the tri wings. But they, I got f another four of those, so they maybe were the ones that were supposed to go inside, but they didn't fit. Never mind, it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> I guess there is a couple of small things to do now. Then, so there is the. Uh, the lens to put on, obviously. There's also somewhere, and I appear to have mislaid it, uh, they did have a replacement sticker for here. Uh, uh, quite an official looking Nintendo one, but uh, I don't know where I put that. So I mean, what we need to do is just give this a bit of a wipe, the actual screen. I'm not a huge thing about having fingerprints personally, but it's fine, you know, give it a small wipe. So that's a little bit clearer. Now, I need to put the lens on. Now, I have traditionally been absolutely terrible at doing this, so this should be fun. So we need to peel off the backing. You can leave a bit on, but even worse at that, so. So the idea is to, of course, make this as oh, centered as possible. Which I think that is. Oh, it did it. It worked fine. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, it certainly looks like a Game Boy Advance. Um, the plastic is possibly a bit of a weird color to the my eye. I don't No guarantees of that, to be honest. <sighs> Now we don't know if it works, so let's stick a couple of batteries in first. Now, because it's a Game Boy Advance, we can actually do this bit. Let's zoom out again. Okay. Because it's a Game Boy Advance, we can actually do this bit without having a game in there. We can just put the battery there, and the battery there. Go. On. There you go. And all right, moment of <laughs> moment of truth. Oh, light like, hey! That looks good, the screen's working, and obviously the motherboard must be working, or at least partially working, because it's showing that. Right, that's a very good sign, obviously. Let's put the back cover on. And we're going to see, because this case did not fit together particularly well, and I don't know if that's me or if that's something to do with the case. But uh, let's try putting a game in, and will the game even fit in is the first question. It did? Okay, there we go then. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, okay. So, what we got? Oh, deoxid. I'm going to stick a bit of deoxid in there because I've just noticed, and you won't be able to see this, I will guess. But inside there is quite dirty. It's a reclaimed overboard after all, so bear with me. Now, this isn't, of course, a uh, replacement for cleaning it, but uh, it will hopefully get us started quicker. Give that a quick, just a quick spritz in there and then we just put the cartridge in and out a few times just to help spread it around plus i don't know the last time i used this cartridge i'll be honest all right let's try again oh it says nintendo i don't think it said that before hey that looks good i mean it's working it's just lots of uh Hey, there we go, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! And the sound's working as well. Fantastic! 
<laughs> All right, let's do a summary. Well, there we go then. So, <laughs> in answer to the question, can you build a Game Boy Advance from parts just on AliExpress? The answer is yes. Now, more importantly, though, the question is, should you? No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This this cost me about the same amount, if not more, than it would have cost me to buy an actual Game Boy Advance. Uh, if any of these parts hadn't worked, that would have been even worse. So it would cost me even more. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, it was going to be a bit of a crapshoot at the best of times anyway. Um, if you were going to do this, and, you know, it is fun. So if you don't care about the money and stuff, then it's kind of nice to put it together. Uh, I would probably also just get the better screen. You can buy better screens on AliExpress as well. You can buy lithium battery, uh, retardable battery uh, solutions as well. I uh, should probably do those at the same time rather than just putting together a bog standard Game Boy Advance. <laughs> right. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. And uh, you can join our membership on YouTube to get uh, access to new videos or Patreon for the same things. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be told of future videos. And... Um, yeah. See you next time. The present is horrible. The future looks bleak. Remember our childhood to get us through the week. We're getting re-enthused. Back to the past and the things we used. We all know that our pasts were great. Escaping the things that Today we hate getting re-enthused, getting re-enthused, getting re-enthused, getting re-enthused.